Hey all you super awesome people out there, this is AWOC and today I'm going to do a quick video, just a rough guide on how to construct, well not construct, but to craft things. Um, it can seem a little bit intimidating if you're not used to um, to this sort of uh, play style. So therefore I've thought, you know what, I will make a little video to make it easier for those of you out there who are new to this sort of games. And um, it might seem a little bit intimidating at first, but honestly, it's really easy and it's very, very enjoyable once you get the hang of it. Okay, so here we go. Um, welcome everybody. This is my little fortress I've built for myself in here. And um, as you can see in front of me, I have four cool little workstations. Now, first up on the list, we have your workbench. Now, the workbench is what you will start the game off with. You will start off with what is known as workbench number one. Now, from there, you can upgrade the workbench to workbench number two and workbench number three as the game progresses. Now, I will show you guys on how to create a workbench. Now, here is one I've made earlier. I will just get rid of that one right now real quick. And I will go into my inventory menu. Now, every time you want to create something, you will need to go into your crafting menu. Now, in order to do that, it's very simple. You just go and select your inventory button or whichever platform you're playing on and you will get this screen over here. You head over to your construction or crafting tab, whatever you would like to call it. And as you can see here is all the different little menus of what I can create and craft. Now, I'm going to go over here to my crafting stations and furniture tab. I will go down to workbench and as you can see to, on the right hand side of the screen, it will show me what I need in order to craft a workbench. Now it's showing me I need four pieces of wood and if you hover over that it will show you the inventory of what you currently have. And as you can see I have 118 pieces of wood in my inventory so of course it's going to be very easy for me to craft that. Now I will go ahead and do that and that's pretty instant and as you can see on the right hand side here is a little hand appears that says kaboom here is your workbench that you've crafted now I'm going to send that to my backpack if you have space in your direct inventory it will go over there so as you can see down here here's the one I crafted earlier I'm just going to move that into the bin to make it a little bit easier and then here we go that is the one that I have just crafted now I'm going to exit that menu and I'll go down here to my quick access menu and boom there is the workstation I have crafted now you can rotate that and you can place it in anywhere you can I mean you can even run out here and place it on the grass over here with these guys jumping around but of course if you're gonna craft a little if, well if you're gonna build a little fortress it is always cooler to have it you know inside there so I'm gonna pop this baby over here and there we go there is my workbench now, as I said, as the game progresses, you do have the option of upgrading it. Now, in order to do that, you just stand in front of that and you select use. It will open up once again the crafting menu for you. You will go to the right hand side to your upgrade tab. Now, this is where you will be upgrading all of your equipment pieces while well, or crafting pieces as the game progresses. So I'll go over here to workbench number one. And it will show me I can upgrade to workbench number two. Now, in order to upgrade to workbench number two, I need eight pieces of wood and, oh, I need eight pieces of copper ore. Now, that leads me to the next thing. As you can see, I can't upgrade that workbench number two. So, what do I need to do? I need to go and farm for some copper ores. Now, I will show you guys how to do that. It is very simple and it's very easy. Now, the best place to farm for copper ore would be if you go to your, once again, you select your inventory, well, your menu option, you go to your maps, and you head over to the Dusty Junction. You travel over there, quick and easy, and boom, here we go, I am in Dusty Junction. So, welcome to Dusty Junction, famous for maggots shooting flame at you, troll guys trying to clobber you with a 
piece of wood known as the Greenhorn Grunt. Let me just get rid of this guy real quick. Now, sometimes you are lucky and they will drop you a piece of copper. Oh, and there we go. I got a piece of copper ore. I will get rid of this guy as well. Now, they're really easy to beat because they're very slow and they tend to panic and run away once they are low in health. Let's see. Oh, okay. I got another copper ore there. That's good. And I'll get rid of this guy just to make things a little bit easier for me as well. And there we go. Okay, see, he didn't he didn't give any copper ore, but I got some wooden logs out of him. Now, all you need to do is walk around the map and you will see... Okay, that looks like copper ore to me, so I will then... Hammer away. Now, the thing is, it might spawn up there. Yes, it did. So, I'm just going to have to quickly craft some way for me to get up there and it will drop down and there you go I got some copper ore now this is the best place to farm for copper ore and as you can see there's some over here as well now you can use a crafting tool but if you're like me it's always much more fun using your uh, your fire one just to shoot flames at it to uh, to bring it down for you now um, let's see there's some copper ore there as well but I'm gonna try and get some oh here we go there's a good bunch over here so I'm gonna farm for some more Okay, there's some dirt block. I don't really need that. So I can just disga discard that from my inventory. Okay, now I've been farming for some copper ore for a while now. So let's see how much I have. Now in order to do that, once again, you just jump into your inventory and go to your backpack. So as you can see over here, I've got 12 pieces of copper ore. So that's more than enough to upgrade my workbench to workbench number two. So now what I'm going to do is just to make things easy... I'm going to jump back to my little place I'd like to call home, and that's in Fort Finch. So I'm going to travel over there right now. And boom, here we go. I am back in my little palace. I'll open my front door. And here we go. So here is my... Oh, I can hear a knight somewhere. Okay, he's out there. That's good. I'm fine. So back again to my workbench. Oh, I can still hear him. I think he's up there. I don't want him to start attacking me when I'm building this awesome workbench. Okay, I'll just focus on this for now. So, here we go. Stand in front of it. You select it. And I will then go to the Upgrade tab on the right-hand side. Now, as you can see here, that is up. Uh, it gives me the option to upgrade that. So, I have 12 copper ore pieces, so I'm more than enough. So, I'm going to craft that. And... Whammy, that is done. I've now upgraded my workbench to workbench number two. That is awesome. Let's see if I can do a little dance with that. There you go. Victory. Yes. Congratulations. Now, next up, we have the drafting table. Now, the drafting table is next on the list of cool little things that you can build. Now, Ooh, let's go back now as you can see here on the um, uh, drafting table list is you you can use this to create little bits and pieces for your house I mean I can make a bed I can make a chair and a stool uh, you can create fences a small fence and a high fence a table and a wooden window frame now I do need some window frames actually so I'm gonna use this as a good example I'm gonna craft that and I'll pop that into my inventory. I will go over there, have a look. Okay, it's my quick access window down the bottom. And there we go. I've got my window selected. Now, I do need a window here. And bang, done. Got my window. So, I'm, I think I'm getting there. I mean, my windows are, are getting there. I mean, I need some more walls. I've got a door over here. But I've got a huge plan that's coming over here. So, keep your eyes closed. <laughs> I was going to say keep your eyes closed, but keep your eyes close to this channel because I'm building a super ultimate Megatron fort, which I think is going to look pretty cool. And I can't wait to show you guys once that is done. Now, this, I will focus on this real quick for a second. Now, depending on which character you chose at the beginning of the game is what you will need to choose over here now as I, as you can see here's the drafting table which is what i showed you on how to create different bits and pieces like furniture for your house now the following one is if you started the game off as a rogue you will need the archer station and the archer station is what you will be crafting and using to develop and you know make your 
rogues stronger throughout the game. Next up we have the anvil and if you chose the warrior class at the beginning of the game this is what you'll be needing in order to craft some awesome weapons and gear for your character to use. Now this, the chest, the chest is really really important. Um, as you can see I have made it, crafted the chest right here and throughout the game as you explore especially when you're farming and you're building things you will need a chest because your inventory over here, as you can see, gets really, really full. And um, you will need to have a chest in order to store things in there because it's it's a pain when you when you kind of uh, explore and your inventory is full and you, gotta, and you have to drop stuff down. So, for example, I'm going to open the, the, um, the chest over here right now and if I wanted to put something in it, Let's say, for example, this cute little mouse that I managed to get from uh, uh, starting when I started off the game. I'm going to pop him in here, and there you go. He's in the chest now. So, in order to craft the chest, um, you just go again to your workstations, and you select workbench, and I will come down to the chest over here once again. I need four pieces of wood and four pieces of copper ore, uh, well two sorry, two pieces of copper ore. I go craft and it's ready. I will send that straight to my inventory and it's in my quick use inventory and to place that again, very simple, very easy, you just select it. If it's not selected, you just scroll down to it, it will appear and boom, there you go. I've got two chest pieces now to store some more junk in. Let me give myself a little applause for that. <laughs> okay, now next up, as you can see over here, I have the altar. I'm running a mage, of course I'm going to need an altar. Now the altar is what I will be using in order to create gear and weapons for my character to use. So as you can see here, I've got uh, different ruby dust and different pieces that I'll be using in order to craft some gear for me. Now let's have a look. I've got a wizard hat here. What do I have that I can craft for you guys? Nothing at the moment, but as you can see here on the right, this is what I'll, you'll mainly be using this piece to craft some cool gear for your character. Now as you can see, I do look a little bit like the Tin Man and I do, I do like that look on him. I think he looks pretty awesome. So, I mean, that is crafting for you. It is really simple. It is really, really easy. Guys, if you have any questions, if uh, leave, leave them in the comment section. I, I'd be more than happy to help you out and answer them for you. And if you feel that I didn't cover anything, also let me know and I can uh, put that in another video for you. Anyway, guys, that's this is <laughs> I've Amok and this has been crafting and well, crafting 101 and basic crafting skills. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please click that like button. If you would like to be kept up to date with all the new videos and stuff that I put together regarding Portal Knights, click that subscribe button. And guys, have a good one. See you later.